I've been wanting to make a utility knife that uses these razor blades for some time now, and in today's video, I'm going to give it a shot. The first step is to come up with an interesting design, and to do that, I took a picture of a razor and sketched out some designs until I had something that I liked. Once I did, I created a 3D model in Fusion 360 and then 3D printed it. I'll be sand casting this knife, so this 3D print will be used as a pattern to create a sand mold. I normally make a pattern for sand casting in two pieces called a split pattern. However, split patterns can be difficult to make and keep aligned properly during the molding process. I found that I can make nicer patterns if I simply print another pattern half the thickness of the main one and use it as if it were part of a two-part pattern. I know that's a bit confusing, but it'll make sense once I start making the mold. And before making the molds, I spent some time refining the patterns to make them as smooth as possible. As usual, I'll be using my favorite oil bonded sand called Petrobon to make this mold. Once the mold was done, I could start melting some bronze. This is a pretty small casting, so I can just use my small electric furnace. I'm using bronze made up of roughly 92% copper and 8% tin. Once the metal was liquefied, I added in a very tiny amount of this phosphor copper. It'll make the metal slightly more liquid and allow it to flow into the mold more easily. Well, the casting filled out well, but there are some bubbles in it, which I'm really disappointed to see. I should have done a better job making the mold, which would have cut down on the bubbles. But I was more concerned with the mold filling out properly than I was with the bubbles. So that's why I made it the way I did. They're purely cosmetic though, and they won't affect the functionality of the tool at all. This took a few hours of filing to get it looking nice, but I just got into it and it wasn't bad.
Next I used this soft deburring wheel to remove all the file marks and polish it up. Now I can start laying out where to drill some holes. After drilling, I tapped the holes for 632 screws. I ordered some stainless steel screws, but I couldn't find them in the right size, so I had to grind them down a little bit to fit. I also 3D printed this little blade guard, which seemed like a pretty good idea. It's really satisfying to make your own tools, and I'm looking forward to using this one for a long time. If you'd like to follow along with the progress of my projects and help to support the channel, then consider joining my Patreon. I try to post multiple Patreon-only posts a week there, and you'll also gain access to any of my 3D printing files, including this one. Well thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know what you think in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe for future projects.